Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing my March favorites today. I have probably the smallest pile here that I think I've ever had for a favorites video. A couple of repeat items, a couple of old favorites, I think one or two new things. I will be sharing it with you guys today. Before we get into that, I'm gonna give a special welcome to any of you that are new here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and that your notifications are turned on. And with that said, let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna start with the repeat items. I am not even gonna describe these because I'm pretty sure these were included in last month's favorites video, but I have been using them again for the last four weeks. And that is my She Glam Concealer. I actually don't think this officially made it into my last favorites video, but it was supposed to. I really love this concealer. It's $7.99, you can get it on Amazon. It is a very heavy coverage concealer. It's a little bit thick, so you gotta be careful. I also wanted to mention my Diamond Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Again, this cream bronzer, you guys, I'm so obsessed with. I already have a dent in this thing. There's not a lot of product inside here compared to some of my other cream bronzers that I love. So I imagine I'm gonna run through this really quick, but I love the color of this cream bronzer. It is my perfect bronzer shade. The formula is really nice. I'm just so obsessed with this. And then last repeat is my Nobla Two Reasons Blush in the shade Soft Nude. This shade is really growing on me. I absolutely love it. It's a nice, warm kind of nude. I don't know if I say warm. It's just like a good basic nude. It kind of goes with anything. I absolutely love this shade. I wasn't sure I liked it the first time I tried it. I think I had something kind of like cool toned on the eyes and I didn't feel like it worked with the cooler toned eye. But after that initial try, this shade has grown on me. I honestly need to pick up maybe all the shades. I know there's a couple shades that look very, very deep, but it's a cream blush. So I feel like you can use shades that are a little bit darker but I can't stop raving about this thing. I just think they are so good. Let's move into some newer things. So I don't think I've ever mentioned this for you guys. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Brow Gel. This is just a clear brow gel. This stuff, you guys, is heavy duty. Now it's very wet, so I have to be careful with how I use this. I usually like to put a little bit of a wax underneath. So I put anything too wet on my brows, they tend to fall before the brow gel dries. But this just applied sparingly and then brushed up right. If I if I can let it sit there until it dries, my brows could go through a hurricane and they probably would not come undone. This stuff is indestructible. Maybe not quite. I haven't put this to like a waterproof sort of test, but as far as just how long this keeps my brows in place, it keeps them in place all day long. I even fell asleep with this in my brows one night and they were still upright the day after. So pretty impressive. It does make them a little bit on the crunchy side, but they don't look as stiff as they feel. So if that doesn't bother you and you just need something that's going to seriously hold your brows in place, this will get the job done. So I got an older favorite that I've rediscovered recently. This is the MAC Double Gleam Highlighter. You guys, this is one of the best highlighters that I own. It's so good. If you like an intense highlighter, this is just such a fantastic formula and color kind of like a warm icy champagne, which I feel like is the color of highlighter that I just, I love. I love these shades of highlighter because I just think they look so flattering on the skin, whether I'm at my fairest or I have a little bit of a tan going on. It's such a good formula. It's nice and intense, but it's not too kind of chunky or flaky or texture, texture-y looking. It doesn't have too much glitter in it. It's very micro fine, but man, does it pack a punch. This stuff is incredible. Another older favorite I've rediscovered is the Ardell Stroke -a Brow. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I bought this on the recommendation of Katie Jane Hughes years ago on Instagram, and I pulled this back out recently. I was actually surprised it had any product left inside of it, but this is such a great color for a brow pen. And it really does just give you like very hair-like strokes in your brows. I've had it on my desk for the last couple of weeks and I've been using it a lot. And I really like how my brows look using this product. I am wearing it in my brows today, by the way, along with the clear brow gel. And I think my brows look pretty good today. Another Physicians Formula product. I actually didn't realize I had three Physicians Formula products. This is the Diamond Plumper Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Pink Radiant Cut. This is such a pretty, just kind of throw on your lips in the springtime shade of gloss. I am wearing on my lips today. I had, I had some lip liner on a couple of hours ago, but I think most of that had worn off before I filmed this video. It's a great, just basic kind of semi-sheer, bright spring pink. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a blue toned pink that really like brightens up your face. It's a nice formula. I would say leans more on the sticky side, which I actually don't mind. I feel like stickier glosses 
generally last a little bit longer and often have a little bit more shine in them than those that aren't as sticky. But I love this, I've been using it a lot and I love having something like this in the spring just to throw in your purse. You can just throw it on in the car, it's gonna add some color to your lips. Without having to do a lipstick or a lip liner, this is just a really kind of one and done sort of lip gloss. Uh, Next up, I had to include the Natasha Denona Hypernatural Face Palette. I haven't had this for that long, I've only had it for about two weeks, but I fell pretty hard in love with this thing. Despite the fact that I do have a small criticism with it. I wish the cheap products were either a little bit bigger or that it actually included a bronzer, a actual highlighter, and a blush. I like the bronzer and the blush that they did include. I think they work really well. I'm wearing them both on my cheeks today. I'm wearing the eyeshadows on my cheeks today. I have this color in the outer corner, the pink on the lid, and then this shimmery, beautiful glittery shade on the inner part of my lid, it's stunning. I love the formula of the eyeshadows. I love the formula and colors of the blushes and the bronzer. I just feel like they're a little bit on the small side. As expensive as this palette was, and for it only including five eyeshadows, I just feel like the face product should have been a little bit bigger or they should have thrown in a highlighter. Because $62 for basically a mini palette and a couple of cheap products, I just, I still feel like that's kind of high. I know it's Natasha Denona. I know I'll get a lot of use out of it because nothing in here doesn't work for me. That's really kind of a killer when it comes to like an all kind of inclusive palette like this. If there's a shade or two that don't work, it's not something I'm gonna end up using very often. Like I want something that really is gonna be kind of a one-stop shop. And this is almost it other than the fact that it doesn't include a highlighter. I think the last time I checked on this thing, it did have pretty good reviews. Although I've noticed the last like five or six releases from Natasha Denona seem to all have perfect reviews. Anytime I see that, and it's not that I'm saying, I mean, I would be one of those positive reviews. So maybe everybody really just does love her products. But for something so expensive, I f I'm surprised there's not more people that are kind of like, maybe this is not as good as everyone seems to think it is. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm just a little skeptical. I'm kind of, I've turned into a cynic these days. Who is not cynical these days, I feel like. Okay, the last thing I want to, I had it in my pile here to include. I'm gonna put a little asterisk next to it though because I looked this up on Sephora's website before I before this video and it made me question whether I really want to include this because I'm not sure that once this little sample size, let me just tell you what it is. It's the Super Goop Glow Screen sunscreen. This is a tinted sunscreen that has some like highlighting properties in it. I took this with me just last weekend. I'm so this is like a brand new product, but I took it with me over the weekend. We were out of town watching some baseball for the weekend. I loved this sunscreen. It has like a subtle kind of tint. I wouldn't really say it has coverage to it, but it has a really pretty glow underneath like a light coverage foundation with some just concealer where you need it. It looks beautiful and healthy on your skin. It's SPF 40. But I looked it up online and the full size of this, which has 1.7 ounces, is $38. I mean, that's, that's so pricey. Maybe not if it was an actual foundation, like I'll pay over $30 for a foundation. But for a sunscreen, I mean, I love my copper tone right here, which by the way, actually has almost the exact same ingredients in it as far as like the sunscreen properties. This has 2.5 ounces and I think it was like $7.99. So, I don't know. I don't know that I can do $38 for the full size. I thought about throwing it in my cart in my upcoming Sephora order, but a part of me is just like, it's just a sunscreen, Mandy. You can buy a cheap sunscreen at the drugstore that is going to do the exact same thing and you're covering it up with makeup. So I don't know. I liked it, but I don't know that I can spend $38 on a sunscreen. I feel like that is my line. Natasha Denona eyeshadows, I clearly already went over that line, but I don't know that I should go over this line. Like, I feel like we should all have a line, you know? When it comes to budget and makeup and what we're willing to pay for. And maybe Super Goop will have to be my line. We'll see. But that is it, you guys. Those are all my favorites from this last month. I feel like I didn't switch up a whole lot of things. It was a busy month. We did a lot of kind of like weekend traveling. It's spring break right now. So everything's kind of up in the air. And I really just relied on like, old favorites and staple products, which is why you kind of saw a smaller pile today, but I kind of like that. What are you guys really excited about using right now? Did you try any new favorites this last month? April should be a lot of fun. We have the Sephora sale coming up and I have some products that you guys have been telling me to try that I'm finally getting around to doing. So that's gonna be a fun one to look forward to. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.